boys and girls, how are you? So I think this is my first uh, evening video I've ever done. So it is Sunday evening and I wanted to uh, do a little activity with you on butterflies because this is something I would like you to do uh, before you come to Zoom this week. So we are waiting for those caterpillars to come out uh, to make their chrysalis and to return into butterflies. Um, and I wanted to have a special activity for us to do that you can bring to Zoom this week. So I am sending your parents these butterfly outlines. There's two on this page that look like this and two on this page that look like this. You don't have to do all of them. You can choose one that you like, or if you wanna do more than one, that's fine too. And you might have do all of them and then you'll have different butterflies around your house. Now, before we decorate them, there's something very interesting when you look at butterflies. So butterflies, if you were to take this butterfly and fold it down the middle, right right here in the center you'll notice that this side and this side look almost exactly the same and we call that symmetrical when one side is a um, is almost an image a mirror image of the other side here's your painted lady this is what yours is going to look like and so you'll see if you put a line down the middle right this side and this side look almost identical Right? and they call that symmetrical. So if I were to fold this in half, it would be like folding the two halves together and they would match, right? Because here you see this white spot on the top, well, but then you see that same white spot over here, right? You see this little black spot here, you see the same black spot there. You see that? Three little white spots there, Oop. three little white spots here. So it's called symmetry. And it happens also if we take a piece of paper like Oh, let me grab one. I'll be right back. I'm coming. So if we take a piece of paper, and you often would see Mrs. McAdams doing this in class, if you fold that paper in half this way, right? right, and here's the crease, right? And if you remember, if I made a heart shape, just the one side of the heart shape on here and then cut it, when I would open it, it would be a full heart, right? And that means both sides were the same, they were symmetrical. So I'm gonna show you the same thing, only making a butterfly. So this is also something you can try at home, but not the thing that you'll need to bring to Zoom this week. So watch this. So here's the fold, right? And if I wanna draw it, I can make what I would think one half of a butterfly would look like. So if I'm gonna make it look like this wing, I'm gonna start here, right? And I'm gonna go up and over and in. See that part right there? And then I'm gonna come back out and down and up. Now, does that look like a butterfly? Not yet, but watch, okay? So now I'm not gonna cut on this part, that's the crease, right? That's where the paper is folded. I'm just gonna cut around that purple line exactly where I made the line, the shape of the wings. Now it only looks like one wing, but like when we make a heart, what's gonna happen when we cut all the way to the end, right, there's my scrap is when I open it, <gasps> aha, right? And that's symmetry, okay? That means this side and this side are exactly the same, right? And if I were to put some paint blops on here, if I folded that in half and opened it, it would be the same on both sides. So that's one fun way you can make a butterfly. So in the meantime though, you can decide which one of these you wanna decorate for Zoom. And I'd like you to try to make it a symmetrical butterfly. So. Why don't you go ahead and get markers or crayons or whatever kind of um, colors you would like to use to make your butterfly. So why don't you go grab those markers or colored pencils or crayons. Uh, those are all great. You could even do paint if you want. Mrs. McAdams is going to use markers. Look at this. I've got a whole bunch of pretty colorful markers right down here on the table. Okay, now if you need a little bit more time, put the video on pause and then come back when you have all of your markers or crayons ready, okay? All right. Okay, so here's another example of a butterfly. And again, you'll see how it's symmetrical, right? 
same shapes and same veins on the butterfly. And if I were to fold that butterfly in half, it looks exactly the same, same shape of the wings on both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and make a symmetrical butterfly. So uh, why don't you decide what color you would like to start with? I think I'm going to start with, hmm, hmm, maybe red. You choose whatever color you like. It doesn't have to be the same as Mrs. McAdams. Now, I'm gonna start with this butterfly, okay? So I'm gonna decide maybe I want this wing up here on the top to have a red dot on it like this. Okay, now if I'm gonna make a red dot here, in order to make a symmetrical butterfly, I've gotta come over on this side and make the same red dot. See that, see how they match? This side and this side, okay? Now, let's say I now want to make, hmm, maybe some smaller red dots on my paper. And again, you choose whatever shapes or designs that you like. I'm just gonna show you my example. So, can you see how many I made here? One, two, three. So if I made three over here, I'm gonna be, and same color, if I want it to be symmetrical or the same, I'm gonna, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna make three over here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so can you see? Exactly the same on both sides. All right, now let's change it up a little bit. Maybe I'll try a different color. Um, mm, I think I'm gonna do some purple. Maybe you wanna change colors, go ahead. Or if you wanna keep using the same color. Now, I think now looking at these butterflies, right? I see a lot of fun shapes that come out of these butterflies or different patterns or patches of color that are in there. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a line with my purple and I'm gonna make it like this. I'm gonna go curve down and around like that. Okay, now if I've done it on this side, what do I have to do? Correct, I have to do it on this side. So then I go down like that, okay? Now what I'm going to do to make those two sides match is I'm gonna color in this part purple. <laughs> and now we'll start to see that butterfly. Now I'm gonna go around that carefully, around that red. And then I'm gonna keep coloring this in purple. There we go. Okay, now if I did this over here, I've gotta do the same over here. So here I go, I'm gonna just kinda trace around that red part and around that red circle so that I don't accidentally color on the circle. And then I'm going to keep coloring. There it is. Okay. Ah, see? Now I have symmetry, right? So purple section with the red and the purple section with the red. All right, fun, huh? Okay, so I think I'm gonna be done with purple. I'm gonna pick another color. Okay, now again, you can uh, use the same design Mrs. McAdams is making if you want and try some different colors, or you could do something completely on your own. I'm just gonna show you one way that you can make this. And if you'd like to make it like your Painted Lady butterfly, you could use orange and black and make that as well. So um, let's see. Now before I go on, I'm gonna go ahead and color the middle because that's the center of the butterfly's body. Now these two butterflies have a black body in the middle. This one has, your painted ladies have a light brown, so you can decide. I think I'm going to do black. And in this center part, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this part done. This, I guess it isn't really the part of the butterfly that's symmetrical, although those sides of that body are the same, but the antennas certainly are. And I think I'm gonna make those antennas black, so I'm just gonna trace that like that. Make sure that shows up, right? that like that there we go i like that because now i can see the middle of the body and now i can make my design from there okay so let's see what do i want to do next hmm i think i'm going to oh i like this color green i'm going to use some of this green right here it's kind of a lime green color and looking at some of these butterflies 
I think I'm going to make maybe some of this kind of design, these little sort of stripes or sections going down the butterfly's body like that. And you'll notice butterflies often have patterns, little dots that go around the outsides of their wings. Do you see them? And I had started that here, right? So I think I'm gonna do some of that on the top wing, okay? So I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna make a line around like this. Okay, see that? Now if I did it here and here, I've gotta flip over on this side and I've got to do it here and here. Okay, how's yours looking so far? Uh-huh, I bet it looks really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna use that same color. I'm gonna do something like here, or something like these little fun sort of zigzag and patterns. So I'm gonna make a little zigzag like that, right? And then if I make a zigzag there, I've gotta make another one over here, don't I? Like that. That's kind of fun, huh? And then maybe I'll make another zigzag that connects to this one. So now it looks a little bit like a U, right? And then the same over here. And you'll notice I don't get it exactly the same on those sides. And butterflies are not exactly the same. They're pretty close, all right? But they're not exactly the same pattern all the way down. So that's kind of fun, huh? Okay. And like inside, do I want that to be all green inside? Or do I want to just leave it zigzag? I actually think I'd like it to be green. So I'm going to color that in green and color that in green because I like how it's a little more zigzagging on the edges. What do you think? Okay, good. All right, now because I like that green, I think I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to trace around this butterfly all the way around the wings. And it's fun to do this because it kind of takes shape as you're doing it as you decide to add colors or add dots or add things that you can decide how to do that. All right, that's fun, I like that. All right, and you know me, I love things that are colorful, so I'm gonna keep adding more color. So I think now I'm going to do some yellow, but I have this really fun sort of orangish yellow, which I really like, and so now, I'm going to make, I like the way the dots look, right? And the butterflies, you can see, have a lot of dots that go around, as I said, or little shapes. They look like little half moons that go around the wings. So since I started with dots, I'm going to keep doing dots. Only this time I'm going to make them yellow, coming around the inside of my butterfly. See there? And then one on the end. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And counting them can help you keep track of how many you've done. Good? Okay. And then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep making yellow dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I make six over there, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm gonna go back to my red for a minute. And since I made these a little bigger, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna do one, two, three. One. Oh, here, oh, see, I almost went to the wrong spot, didn't I? Two, three. Ooh, fun, okay. All right, what else? Well, now that I've got some big green areas here, maybe I need something to fill in this white spot here. So maybe, hmm, what do you think? Or purple? No. What about orange? Orange is a fun color. Huh? I'm making a very colorful butterfly. So down here, I think I'm going to make maybe some of these type of, they call them veins on a butterfly's wings. They're very kind of fragile and delicate. So I'm gonna make some rings, some veins like that. All right, so I'm gonna do a one, two, three. I'm gonna draw a line like that, okay? And then maybe these go up a little higher, one, two, three, like that. All right, so again, symmetrical, right? On both sides, All right? Maybe I wanna color that in. Since I did 
really didn't need the line down the middle, did I? But what I could do after I color that is come back with a darker color and make some veins on it, which I think is what I'm going to do. All right, so let me color that. So do you get the idea, boys and girls? So whatever you shapes or designs you make on one side are the same shapes and designs that you'll make on the other side. So it matches, okay? All right, so now we're gonna make lines like that. They look a little bit like veins, don't they? I'm doing over here, I'm also doing over here. Okay, so I'm gonna make some of those veins in the green part. And two over here, one, two. And you can really see that they show up now, don't they? So maybe a little bit around here. Oh yes, I'm starting to really like that. All right, what do you think? Okay, and I think I'll do one more thing. Um, I'm going to go back to red. I like the red on the butterfly. And so what I think I'm going to do is in here, I think I'm going to make one more. Hmm, I think I'm just going to make a red line. I'm going in here and down. Same thing. Red line drawing and down. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. I think I'm good with that. So what do you think? All right, so again, same on both sides, right? Then what you wanna do is take your scissors and very carefully cut it out, right? And then bring it to the Zoom on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or whatever day that we Zoom together so I can see your beautiful butterflies. If you'd like to get another piece of paper, like a piece of construction paper and cut yours out and put it on a piece of paper with some scenery, I would love that. You could certainly do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on a few more so that when I uh, show you the picture, you can see some of the other butterflies, but I can't wait to see yours. So make sure you practice it showing the symmetry. If you forget how, just rewind this video and you can watch Mrs. McAdams do hers and then you can make yours any way you want. Okay, can't wait to see them. Thanks boys and girls, bye.